ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a spicy pizza production. I'm your host, Mitch Hill, back with some more sepia tears. Um, when we left off, uh, <coughs> we were cheering Ren up because she, um, she, uh, she, me, guy missed out on their quote unquote date. I've had some sleep. I had a day to just like relax and not think about this and not want to punch Mira in the face. So with this new calm bravado and a lot of sleep under me, let's keep on going. Um, I don't remember if I read this line or not. She pokes at the strawberry with a spoon as if pondering which angle to bite it from. No need to get that serious. I wish you could see the look on your face right now. It's like you were already planning out your wedding ceremony. It's not that. I just... Please don't say something cheesy like, I just want to see him again tomorrow and talk about inconsequential things. Inconsequential things. Eh. Uh, how nostalgic. I haven't made a face like that in three years. You're making me feel like an old man. You think? Actually, Mark, I've seen that face on you pretty recently. Huh? How recently? Oh, not long. About a week, or maybe two. Mira's watery eyes on that cold hilltop pop into my mind, along with Lillian's silhouette against the sunset. I guess I've been busy too. I don't doubt it. She grins as she swallows a half-melted mouthful of ice cream, whipped cream, and probably a couple more types of cream. I was about to say, way too many creams. <coughs> Where's this cough would disappear though? By the way, that guy you were talking about, he isn't just some guy who talked to you, is he? Mm. Um. You know, I'm more patient than you. Well, he's kind of someone I noticed a while ago, and I was going to talk to him, but he's always surrounded by friends. And he seems like a nice guy, but I don't really know him, and... It's alright, I understand. I wish you luck. May the odds be ever in your favor. See, now that I've had sleep, I can be more mellow about it. I try to muster up my most convincing big brother smile. Hopefully I succeeded. Thanks, Mark. Right on cue, she chomps down the strawberry and concludes her battle against mankind's greatest Sunday. I really should have ordered one of those. Why didn't you, Mark? Shit, I would have. God, I would have devoured the crap out of that. It's getting kind of late. But there's still so much we can do. <coughs> God. Sorry about that. Maybe it's because like I start every recording with a big old fountain Mountain Dew. Like a 44 ounce or maybe that's why. And then I try to talk and just everything just gunks up in my, <clears throat> in my throat. Should do like vocal warm ups. <coughs> I think that's the thing, I'm not used to, because this is like the third day in a row that I've been recording that I can actually project my voice instead of just being like, hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a spicy pizza for because there's no one in the house and there's no one watching TV so I can actually project my voice and I don't think my mouth is used to talking this much at this projected voice and also, you know what, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just talking too much now. And this is coming from the person who said there was nothing to do in here an hour ago. That's because I wasn't in the mood to do anything fun, like tease you. Of course that would be your favorite pastime. You know, if this were a game, we'd have to go shopping for clothes. Please don't make me shop for clothes. And then you'd get to watch- oh, and then you get to watch me try on swimsuits and rate them on a scale of 1 to 10. You sound like you wouldn't mind doing that. Please don't do that. I, I guess I could if you want me to. Oh, whoa, nope, there's no need. We both know you'd be the school swimsuit character. Hey! <clears throat> Whoosh! <coughs> Mother! Sorry, guys, I um completely forgot for my recordings to uh, mute my uh, phone. So if you hear a quack, quack, quack in the background, that's just my little pet ducky. Just ignore the pet ducky. His name's Frank. He's an adorable little shit. A fist soars above my head and as I instinctively crouch down. If 
Fine then, I suppose you could pull off a One Piece and a Serong, but that's it. A Serong? Man, I should have had Tilts and record this with me. He would nail these down in a heartbeat. Like, ba boom That's the word. Hm. If you were in that situation, you'd keep reloading the save file until you got every image, wouldn't you? Um... If you weren't my sister, probably. But you are my sister, so no. So no. Now that you mention it, now we're going... I see. Well, too bad. <coughs> Ren pouts and turns around, but I know she's smiling. So how about it? Wanna head back? Yeah, I guess we should. I had fun today. Glad to hear it. You're the best. Rin hugs me like a child hugging a teddy bear. I know she's joking, but I pat her head and play along. Don't forget your mission now. You can't back down after coming this far. I know, I know. Say, Mark, promise me something, will you? Smirking as if she came up with the idea of a lifetime, she walks up ahead and gazes through the foggy window, expression reflected by the contrast in light. When this is all over and exams are finished, let's go sing karaoke. Me, you, Lucas, Lillian, maybe even my friend. Maybe even Mira. Eyes closed, singing along to a Christmas love song. New Year's Eve. Let's do it. You promise? I promise. Why do we feel like this is an unkeepable promise? <clears throat> In that quiet corner of a crowded mall next to an old discolored window <coughs> overlooking a slushy, park a slushy parking lot, I saw the future. What am I sup- oh. What am I supposed to do? It all happened so fast. What came over me? Climbing into his window was an impulse decision to begin with, and it all snowballed from there. I kept telling myself to stop, but I couldn't. I want to see how he reacts. I want to embarrass him. I want to see if he can tell when I'm kidding and when I'm not. Wait! Wait! Revelation! Okay, because cause I know... There's points where he's he's talking in his head and other stuff. And I always thought well, when this came up, like with the snowflakes and the ribbon on the side, I don't know why I didn't make this connection sooner, but I thought this was like him reflecting into the past, like those memories that he's apparently forgotten. But I think this is from, this is reading from her mind. This is her, like, oh shit. Oh, shit! Have I been this naive this entire time? Guys, tell me I'm not this naive. Tell me, tell me that everyone else is realizing this at the same time. Because if not, I feel like a dingus. <laughs> like a super, super dingus. Because <clears throat> I'm like... <coughs> oh my god, I feel... Oh, shit. What's wrong with me? I I'm going to still read it in like the Mark voice because I'm not 100%. I'm pretty sure but yeah it is no it is and everything that happened on the hill no I don't even want to think about it unless it is oh my god I'm... this is wrong it was always wrong I just couldn't see it I'm just gonna still read it in Mark's voice this is what I get for playing with something that should never be played with I stand up and rub my eyes it's a cloudy day out no doubt he's walking a lonely walk back home, thinking about that night as frantically as I am. He must be, right? There's no way he didn't feel anything. I mean- No, it's this, Mira! Oh god, I can't start thinking like this. What have I done? This was never supposed to be a storybook romance. And it can never be one either. Slowly, deliberately, I pull out a sheet of paper and start writing. Wait, what did you say? Closed. And by closed, you mean... Closed. Lucas repeats the same word over and over through my phone. I guess there's not much to say other than that was it. That, <clears throat> it's, that's what it was. Or that they did it out. Closed. The maid cafe is closed. You mean closed for today or just... Closed. 
He sounds like he's sobbing, but it's hilarious in my head. <laughs> wow, really? <laughs> oh! Welcome home, master. I'm back! This is your lucky day. Tonight is our weekly... <laughs> Neko Mimi night. Oh, shit! I love you. And on top of that, it's also our monthly school swimsuit plus over knee socks event. The perfect two course meal. Oh. Oh. I. <coughs> God damn it! Love you even more. In fact, for going through all the trouble of tracking us down. Despite not being listed on any online map to avoid potential legal issues, we'll even offer our extra special Doki Doki Excitement Hour for your eyes only. I'm getting an extra special Doki Doki Excitement Hour? This is the greatest day of my life. That's right, and we even have food. Oh, son of a bitch. Is what I would like to say, but we're closed. What? <laughs> but, but we're not completely gone. You can still smell the fragrance of omelet rice dressed by a maid's loving hands if you come right after garbage day. <laughs> Uh, Lucas? Are you still there? I was trying to figure out what you were snickering about a minute ago, but yes, I'm still here. I guess he noticed. Um, <clears throat> well, look on the bright side. When you get old enough, you can open up your own maid cafe and fill this city with hope. Hmm. I know your words are shallow, but thank you. You took it seriously? So, was that it? The store was just closed? Pretty much. The windows were boarded up, the poster's gone, but there was something there, I'm sure of it. How can you be so, so, so sure you had the address? That too, but I could smell them. You could smell them. The maids, I mean. They used to be maids in that building, I'm sure of it. Your maid senses were tingling. You think I'm exaggerating? God knows you're not. Our laughter fades away and an awkward silence replaces it. Um, Mark? Hmm? Actually, there was another reason why I called you. What was it? It's not particularly important. Not particularly important? What does that mean? It means that, to some extent, it's important. Yet in many ways, it's something that is, in fact, unimportant. You're just trying to piss me off. I was actually trying to distract you. For what? Dude, we've been friends since the beginning of high school. You can t I can tell when you're hiding something. I hesitate to play the old friend card, but now's as good a time as any. In that case, would you like to hear the truth? Only if you're willing to tell me. I see. So the cards are in my hands. He pauses for a moment, and so does the sound of his footsteps. Is this serious enough for him to stop walking? In that case, I'll explain. I reconstruct every conversation I had with Lucas over the past few days, searching for clues that I might not want to find. I can't tell you everything. I can only explain in bits and pieces. Fragments for you. Fragments for you to piece together on your own. And we will figure out what that is next time. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please, if you haven't already, like... Favorite, subscribe, and share this with your friends, your family, your grandma, and your grandpa, because I know he watches this. I've been Mitch, and I will see you all next time. Have a fantastic day. I can't believe I didn't realize that, um, then one narration was Mira. I feel so stupid for not realizing that.